Well, y'all, I'm headed out to the hill country for the first time in about two or three weeks since I let those hogs go. I just got done meeting Sip, El Grande Dog, over at Bass Pro Shop. Met him for the first time. Seems like a real likable fellow. Maybe I'll get to hang out with him here coming up in the future. Should be taking him fishing, so haven't done any of that lately either. Anyway, throw him your subs, folks. He's got a monster axis buck he's getting ready to hunt. You don't want to miss that. Check him out, El Grande Dog. Check this flower out, y'all. I found when I hunted Rock Springs that this little flower is something like a wild onion. It has a bulb on the bottom. And I actually ate one one time. And it's very, very alkaline in taste. You'll taste it for hours afterwards. I spit it out. But the hogs love them. If you get these in your hunting areas, they get right. Stake them out. Just nasty water. Dump that out. Put some good stuff in it. Thanks, King. May 14th, folks. Saturday evening, moon's coming up. Back feeder's been opened up. Raccoons have emptied it. 100 pounds in corn, gone. Corn thieves, that's what they are. We got two rabbits under the feeder. It went off about 30 seconds before I got on stand. Got my 223 Hoya sitting on stand, nice and comfortable in my chair. It's going to kick my feet up and relax. That's what you call a 10 million candle power spotlight. See the rabbit? Alright, y'all, those hogs made a fool out of me last night. Looks like they're starting to come in right at sundown and sun up. Looks like they're watering in here. That's why all my water was empty. Back feeder doesn't have any corn in it. And uh, all the feeders are empty and everything out here, so I need to get them off my butt and get some work done and see if I can dig up some corn.